Hey, I want to go ahead and show you an awesome feature that Quizzes has that not a lot of people know about. Um, you know you can come in here and create a quiz um, like normal. Click on create and then you come in here and name your quiz and then come over here and type in a new question and type in the options. Uh, that could be a little bit cumbersome for a teacher to do that for every quiz. Yes, you can also go into quizzes and you can look in through their gallery and find all the other quizzes that have already been made by other teachers and you can select individual questions and make an ultimate quiz. But I want to show you a way that students can actually help make a quiz for the entire class. I like to call this crowdsourcing with our students and I'm going to show you how we do this and this is going to be done by an awesome feature that Quizzes has in the upper right corner called import file. We're going to be doing this by using a Google Form, and I've given you a template to a Google Form in the link to this broadcast. So let me go ahead and paste in that link. When you click on that link, it's going to ask you to make a copy of this document. You're going to go ahead and select Make a Copy. When the quiz comes up, you're going to go ahead and rename it. Um, let's pretend like we're making a quiz on the planets. I'm going to call it Planet Quizzes Quiz Maker. And you see, what your students would do is you would have them read about maybe a particular planet or all the planets, and you'd have them research. And you say, when you're done researching, you're going to go to this quiz, you're going to go to this Google form, and you're going to come up with a question, four possible answers. One of those answers has to be correct, and you're going to make a, the quiz like that, question by question, but for each student. So we're going to go ahead and go to the view of this form. This is what the students would see. And the students would come in here. And notice, you would have about 30 kids doing this at a time. And the kid comes in and types in their email, kid kid at kid.com. And after researching, they would come up with their question. So maybe one kid would say, which planet is red? And they would have to come up with four possible answers, Earth. Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Then they'd have to choose which of those options is correct. And since the question was, which planet is red, Mars would be the option. They click on number two. And how much time should the, the students have to answer this question? So let's say 20 seconds. And then they hit submit. So imagine every kid is doing this same form, giving you all of these options. So I'm going to pretend like I'm another kid. And this other kid, uh, kid2 at kid.com, comes in and types their question. Which planet has the best rings? We can say Jupiter, Uranus. Neptune and Saturn and notice I had to use the word best rings because all of the gas giants have rings most of them are very small in the amount of rings that they have so Saturn has the most prominent which of those is the correct answer so we're gonna select four for Saturn and let's go ahead and give them 30 seconds to answer this one so you get the point I've put in two options pretending I was kid one and kid two but you'd have like 30 kids doing all of these uh, once they've given you these answers you're gonna check on your responses and you're gonna click on the icon to open up your associated Google sheet it'll ask can we create a Google sheet for you, you say absolutely and you're gonna go ahead and create it once you've created it take a look we have our uh, timestamp our email addresses and our question options but you see we only need from question all the way to time. We don't need the timestamp or the email address. But I don't want to get rid of the email addresses because what if I want to know who asked that question? I want to make sure I keep those. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to duplicate this tab. All right? So there's my original form responses. Here's my duplicate. And I'm going to go ahead and delete column A for my timestamp and delete the next column for my emails. Now all I'm left with is my questions, my options, my correct answer, and my time. And now all I have to do is go to File, Download As, 
CSV for comma separated values. There we go. Notice it downloads right down here to my, the corner of my Chrome browser. I don't care where it actually downloaded on my computer. All I care is that the link is right here. Now we jump back to our quizzes. And we're already in our quiz creator. I'm going to go ahead and give the quiz a name. I'm going to call it Planets Kids. And instead of clicking done and actually going in and making the quiz myself, I'm going to import the file that we just created. Drag it let go and look look what happened once we created this we have our question which planet is red the options that's there the correct answer all made by our students and the time that they asked right up here as well for some reason it always gives number one as a blank so you're going to go ahead and just delete that one. You don't want to leave a blank. It won't let you publish it. But there you go. Now you're done. And then all you do is click finish. Right? Let's just, you know, let's just select the grade that we're in. You know, whatever. Uh, this is going to be, um, doesn't look like they have astronomy here. So let's just go other sciences. And, oh, there's astronomy. We can tag it if we want. And we're just going to finish and create. And voila. We have a student-created quiz using a Google form, creating a Google Sheet, and then uploading that CSV file right into quizzes for a student-created crowdsource instant quiz that your students can create and take in a matter of 10 minutes. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to tweet me at Joe Marquez 70